Reverend Insanity. Chapter 346 First Entry into King Quan Inheritance The moment his body entered the light pillar, Fang Yuan felt an intense weightlessness. When his vision cleared up, he found himself standing in the wilderness. All he could see around him was the grayish-white sky. On the ground, the gray-white rocks formed into short mounds like gravestones. The gray-colored ground was not fertile, it was hard and dry, with some yellow grass growing in between the cracks. The sky was white, the earth was gray, and the grass was yellow. The world had three colors. Other than that, there were no other colors. All he could hear was silence, or rather, dead silence. There was no wind, no swaying tree leaves, no cries of birds and beasts. Anyone standing here would feel that in this entire world, he was the only person left, a lone survivor. Being in the land of nothingness, loneliness, solitariness, loss, and even fear would grow in their hearts. Although he went into the inheritance with Bai Ning Bing, at the moment, Fang Yuan was alone. But Fang Yuan was extremely calm. So this is King Quan inheritance. He looked around, muttering to himself softly. Compared to an ordinary rank five Gu Master's inheritance, the three king's inheritance had a huge difference. An ordinary rank five inheritance, be it central continent, southern border, northern plains, eastern sea, or western desert, they were all in the main world. But the three king's inheritance was built inside a Gu immortal blessed land. Back then, the three kings were stuck and discovered the inheritance of an ancient Gu immortal by accident starting their legend. The three kings were all geniuses in their own field, after failing to advance to rank six, they set up their inheritances in this blessed land before their deaths. Thus, Fang Yuan was no longer in the main world now. Gu immortal blessed land, a small world that existed within the main world. Every world had different rules and laws. Entering a world means obeying and following its rules. Although Bai Ningbing entered the inheritance with me, she was definitely sent to another place in this small world. But it is not a problem, as long as she continues to advance into the inheritance, we will definitely meet along the way. Fang Yuan knew that this was the unique law of space inside a small world. At the same time, there was also a difference in the flow of time. The flow of time here is three times that of the outside world. In Fang Yuan's aperture, the slumbering spring-autumn cicada had awakened, and was recovering at three times the speed inside this world. The spring-autumn cicada fed on the water in the River of Time. In this small world, the water flow in the River of Time was three times faster than the outside world. Thus, it greatly assisted the spring-autumn cicada's recovery. But this was not good news to Fang Yuan. The pressure that the spring-autumn cicada emits in its perfect condition was not something a rank 4 aperture could contain. The King Quan inheritance, although it was a chance for Fang Yuan to grow, it was also a land of death that escalated his demise. Staying here for one day means three days outside. I have to hurry and conserve my time. Fang Yuan felt a strong sense of urgency. Thankfully, with his memories, this King Quan inheritance of a rank 5 Gu master was not unfamiliar to him. If I am not wrong, there should be a dog-type wild beast around here somewhere. Fang Yuan moved around, looking all over the place, searching for what he had in mind. Woof, woof, woof. Suddenly, he heard a cry from afar as a weak wild dog ran towards Fang Yuan with its eyes glowing in a weak green light. This wild dog was thin to the bones, its teeth were yellow, and it was only at the height of Fang Yuan's knee. It appeared extremely ferocious, evidently hungry, after smelling the human flesh that was Fang Yuan, it rushed over without hesitation. Fang Yuan frowned, this wild dog was very ordinary, meeting it in the first stage was his bad luck. He stood quietly on the spot, letting the dog run towards him. In the currently environment, Fang Yuan could not utilize his other Gu worms, he could only use the rank 1 dog enslavement Gu. This was the restriction of the laws in this small world. King Quan modified the Gu immortal blessed land, allowing a Gu master to bring in a rank 1 dog enslavement Gu into his inheritance, and at the same time, other Gu worms cannot be used. 
of course, other than the spring autumn cicada. Spring autumn cicada was a rank 6 goo. After a goo worm reaches rank 6, be it the main world or the small world, there only exists one of it. Spring autumn cicada was not a mortal being, it was an immortal goo. Even in the blessed land, it could be used freely. Not just King Quan inheritance, King Xin inheritance and King Bao inheritance are the same. When the Gu Master initially enters the inheritance, they can only use the rank 1 dog enslavement Gu, paper crane Gu, and exploding egg Gu. Seeing the wild dog rush towards him, Fang Yuan activated the dog enslavement Gu in his aperture. This dog enslavement Gu looked like a jade stone, only thumb size. The exterior of the jade stone looked like a dog head. Fang Yuan only used one drop of light golden primeval essence to activate this dog enslavement goo. The dog enslavement goo turned into a jade light, bursting out and turning from solid to hollow. Next, it flew into the wild dog in the blink of an eye. The wild dog cried out, as if it was heavily injured, and fell on the ground. Because it was running, it slided across the ground until it rolled to Fang Yuan's feet. After resting for a while, the dog got up. But this time, it did not bear its fangs at Fang Yuan, but instead sprawled on the ground, sticking out its tongue and wagging its tail. Get up! Fang Yuan willed. The wild dog obeyed and got up. Its body had soft fur, the fur was dark, but there was no injuries on it. The dog enslavement goo directly went into its soul, it did not cause any damage to the dog's physical body. Its four limbs were on the ground, and the head was only near Fang Yuan's knee. Fang Yuan observed and shook his head. This was an ordinary wild dog. It had little battle strength. But precisely so, he could use the dog enslavement goo on it so easily. Regardless, I have to rely on it to get through the second round. Fang Yuan was thinking in his mind when suddenly a force from heaven and earth engulfed his body. Immediately, Fang Yuan could not move an inch. In front of him, a light flashed and a second dog enslavement Gu appeared in front of him. Fang Yuan knew this was the reward from the inheritance as well as the key to the second round. Thus, he quickly refined it. This dog enslavement Gu was also rank 1. It was easy to refine. When Fang Yuan refined this Gu and kept it into his aperture with a swoosh, he vanished on the spot moved to another location by the heavenly power. This was still the wilderness, with white sky, gray earth, and yellow grass. Fang Yuan stood on a low mound as three wild dogs were surrounding him. They were all thin as twigs as two were lowering their heads scavenging for food. The third was slightly older, lying on the ground motionless. Fang Yuan's sudden appearance caused the three dogs to go crazy. They started running like they were jolted with lightning towards Fang Yuan from all three directions. Fang Yuan controlled the first wild dog and activated its ferocity. Under Fang Yuan's command, it bared its claws on one of the wild dogs. But it could only stop one wild dog soon, the second closed in on Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan reenacted the same scene from earlier, using the second dog enslavement goo and tamed it. The third wild dog pounced, and Fang Yuan split his concentration into two, commanding both wild dogs to attack. If it was an ordinary Gu master and was not familiar with the dog enslavement Gu, holding two fights at the same time would cause them to lose their bearings. But Fang Yuan was not nervous, in fact he was not even going all out yet. With his 500 years of experience, Fang Yuan had commanded numerous beast groups to battle especially the blade-winged blood bats from the Blood Sea Inheritance. In this life, for Sancha Mountain's inheritance, he had trained for several months in Shang Clan City, familiarizing himself with controlling dog groups. The battle proceeded smoothly in Fang Yuan's expected direction. But Fang Yuan frowned. The first wild dog's body condition is terrible. Fighting like this, even if I win, I will only be left with one wild dog. As he considered this, he consciously directed the two dogs to retreat while fighting. Eventually, Fang Yuan successfully merged the two battles together. This increased the pressure on Fang Yuan's commands, but it also established great advantage for him. 
Fang Yuan's two wild dogs were cooperating perfectly, but their enemies were fighting alone. Not long after, this intense battle ended. The corpses of two wild dogs laid on the ground, blood flowing out of them. The wild dogs Fang Yuan controlled stood on the ground, covered in wounds. The first dog was more injured, while the second dog was relatively healthier. The battle had just ended when the heavenly power descended again, wrapping around Fang Yuan and his two ordinary wild dogs. His vision changed again as weightlessness assaulted him. Third round, Fang Yuan observed his surroundings immediately. This time, he was standing on the top of a mound, surrounded by six wild dogs. Six! Fang Yuan's gaze concentrated, feeling pressured. He had two wild dogs with him, having to fight against three times of his force, at the same time, his dogs were injured. Without time to rest or think, the six dogs detected him and immediately attacked. Fang Yuan's eyes brightened as he saw a pit nearby, he jumped in. He jumped into the pit with a hard wall behind him, he placed both his dogs in front of him. The six wild dogs rushed towards him at differing speeds. The two healthy wild dogs rushed up first, while the remaining four, with different injuries, were far behind. Seeing this, Fang Yuan heaved a sigh of relief. If these six dogs were healthy, he had no chance. But with this terrain advantage and his skilled manipulation, he was confident of passing this round and moving on to the next. Chapter 347 what level of proficiency in enslavement path is this? Woof, woof, woof. The sound of furious barking of dogs echoed endlessly. Dozens of dogs were in a fierce fight. One side had many numbers, but their formation were scattered. Another side had fewer numbers, but they were in a tight formation. And furthermore, they were displaying battle tactics like shielding, retreating, attacking, and so on. Fang Yuan stood on a nearby hill and overlooked the whole battlefield while commanding his dogs. This was already his tenth battle in King Quan's inheritance. With his plentiful experience and the understanding of King Quan's inheritance, he had sprinted through the whole process without any incidents. The battle lasted for five more minutes before it ended. In the whole battlefield, there were nineteen dogs still standing, all of them the result of Fang Yuan's hard accumulation. Fang Yuan softly let out a breath of turbid air, his mind felt slightly exhausted. In King Quan's inheritance, the difficulty increases sharply every ten rounds of battles. I used twenty-eight dogs this time, but had to sacrifice nine of them to resist the assault of nearly sixty dogs and cross this barrier. To be honest, Fang Yuan had some alarming moments during this process. The three kings were demonic goo masters, demonic inheritance always held the law of the survival of the fittest, an intense and cold competition. This round should be enough to eliminate most of the participants who want to steal benefits. There were countless righteous and demonic goo masters on Sancha Mountain. Every time the three kings' inheritance opened, large numbers of goo master would come pouring in to try their luck. However, no matter which inheritance of the three kings' inheritance it was, they were all extremely strict. To choose the most suitable inheritor, the barriers the three kings set up were high. Among the three kings, King Quan was an enslavement path goo master, King Xin was a refinement path goo master, and King Bao was a fire path goo master. Their chosen inheritors naturally should also follow these paths. The difficulty of the first ten rounds ruthlessly eliminated most of the goo masters of other paths. At the thirtieth round, there would not be any goo masters of other paths. At the fiftieth round, those remaining would be elites and geniuses of these paths. At the seventieth round, only experts with deep foundations would remain. Very few could reach the ninetieth round, and they could be counted with two hands. Especially from 90th to 100th round, the final 10 rounds, the difficulties were extreme and unsurmountable like the heavenly chasm. Even a monster like Fang Yuan could not cross it. In his previous life, the Three Kings' inheritance lasted for close to 10 years. It involved countless people, both demonic and righteous, heroes and villains. As of now, it had not been even a year since the appearance of the Three Kings' inheritance, and it was in its early stage. 
it was already amazing for many people to be able to charge through a dozen barriers. By the middle stage, the participants would find it difficult to continue from around 50th barrier, they would exchange their experiences and sum up many rules. At the late stage, most of the participants would hover around 70th to 80th barrier. Only an extremely few number of participants would be struggling at 90th round. These people were mostly rank 5 goo masters, their every action attracting many gazes. And at the final period, the mystical figures of many rank 6 Gu immortals also appeared. Fang Yuan remembered most of the parts clearly. Of course, there were also some blurry areas, but they were minor details. He had a deep understanding of Three Kings' inheritance. He knew no matter which inheritance he chose, he could only charge to the 90th round with his strength. After the 90th round, the barriers were all something only rank 5 Gu Masters had a chance of clearing. Fang Yuan knew it would be very difficult for him to cultivate to rank 5. 10 years was absolutely not enough. This was not only because cultivation became more difficult the higher the Gu Master advanced, but also because of spring-autumn cicada. In this Gu Immortal Blessed Land, time flow was quickened, which intensified the recovery speed of Spring Autumn Cicada. This was an enormous threat to him. A heavenly power descended once more and Fang Yuan's vision flashed. In a split second, he found himself transported to another strange place. His field of view was not clear as the previous ten rounds, the surroundings were filled with dense gray fog, making one unable to distinguish even the directions. Apart from rank 6 spring autumn cicada, none of his other goo worms could be used. Nineteen dogs walked around him, but there was only a faint connection left from the dog enslavement goo. However, Fang Yuan was not flustered, he was clear that starting from the tenth round, the inheritance would give every challenger the power to choose. He stood calmly and soon was able to distinguish. Towards the depths of the fog on his left was an orange glow like someone had turned on a lantern. It was accompanied by a sound, the clear sound of a dog's bark. Towards his front was an indistinct black human shadow, appearing near but also far. Towards his right, in the depths of the gray fog, a ball of blue lightning crackled. The orange light represents Chrysanthemum Akita Dog. This dog is more loyal than the ordinary dogs with me, they are easy to control and can execute exquisite battle tactics. The blue light should be lightning symbol dog. It is very fast, faster than ordinary dogs by two times, and the black human figure should be my opponent, another goo master. Fang Yuan pondered. These were all reminders provided by King Quan's inheritance to him. The first time a person enters, they would have a blurred vision and could only feel their way through the barrier, not able to make the most beneficial choice. However, Fang Yuan was well aware, whether it was Chrysanthemum Akita Dog, Lightning Symbol Dog, or the Goo Master, they were all challenges but also opportunities. Fang Yuan considered it for just a short while and directly walked forward, abandoning the left and right directions. As he walked forward, the gray fog started becoming thinner and his vision became clearer. At the same time, his control over his 19-dog enslavement goo also became stronger, and the gray fog on his left and right became denser. Han Bu Liu stood still, calmly looked at the person that walked out of the fog. Han Bu Liu was already 48, he was a righteous path goo master with a cultivation of rank 4 middle stage and had already entered King Quan's inheritance many times. This allowed him to have a lot of understanding regarding King Quan's inheritance. Right now, as he saw Fang Yuan's figure in the fog walking slowly towards him, he immediately knew this was his opponent. However, he was not in the least bit nervous. He was an enslavement path goo master and was like a fish in water in King Quan's inheritance. In this special environment, all the previous accumulation of goo masters were not counted. They could only use the goo the inheritance gave them to fight. The difference in cultivations had sharply decreased. This person is really unfortunate, actually bumping into me. I will do my best to win against this person with the smallest loss. Then I will charge towards the 22nd barrier. Han Bu Liu was very confident towards himself. 
he had charged to 21st Barrier last time. Such an accomplishment was one of the best in his circles, even surpassing many rank 4 upper stage and peak stage Gu Masters. Fang Yuan stepped out of the fog, his eyes as dark as the abyss and his expression as tranquil as water. Han Bu Liu's pupils shrunk rapidly as he revealed a terrified expression. It is Little Beast King. He immediately felt nervous and panicked. Although Fang Yuan had arrived in Sancha Mountain not long ago, he had killed three middle stage Gu Masters with his initial stage cultivation. His might was awe-inspiring and his vicious reputation had spread far. Han Bu Liu was also at middle stage, but he himself knew his battle strength could not compare to Sky Tiger and others. But soon, Han Bu Liu regained his senses. This is the Gu Immortal Blessed Land, not the outside world. In this round, we can only use Dog Enslavement Gu. Little Beast King can't use his Gu set. He walks the strength path and is so young, how could he have any proficiency in the enslavement path? Han Bu Liu's eyes shone with ecstasy and greed as he roared in his mind. Ahahaha, this is a heaven-sent opportunity. By killing Little Beast King, I can greatly spread my reputation. By taking his goo worms and selling them, I can make a lot of primeval stones, dogs charge. Righteous path inheritances were gentle and usually did not cause any deaths. Sometimes, even when someone failed, they would have some gains. However, King Quan's inheritance was a demonic path inheritance. Here, one could kill and death was a normal thing. The most crucial thing was in this Gu Immortal Blessed Land, Gu Masters could not utilize their Gu Worms. This meant if the Gu Master died, they cannot will their Gu Worms to self-destruct. The Gu Masters on Sancha Mountain had already discovered this point through fights. This led to a sharp increase in the number of casualties in the inheritance. At outside world, Gu Masters could cause their Gu Worms to self-destruct before their deaths, not letting their enemies have them. The profits from battles were very small. But here, if a goo master died, their goo worms would be left behind. This enticed people to commit crimes. If Han Bu Liu killed Fang Yuan, almost all the goo worms on Fang Yuan would be left behind. Such enormous spoils caused Han Bu Liu to let out his killing intent without restrain. With a shift of his mind, eleven dogs charged towards Fang Yuan. Woof, 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 they let out savage barks and seemed unstoppable. Fang Yuan was indifferent. He waited till these dogs neared him, then waved his hand. With a light wave, nineteen dogs rushed out from the gray fog behind him. Nineteen, Han Bu Liu was extremely shocked, his eyes almost falling from their sockets. How can there be so many? He was filled with doubts. He was an enslavement path Gu Master and had a lot of experience in commanding dogs. But despite his greatest efforts, only eleven dogs remained when he was done with the tenth round. And Little Beast King, this strength path Gu Master has nineteen. A whole eight more than his. What level of proficiency in enslavement path was this? No, impossible. This is absolutely because he was lucky, otherwise how could he have so many dogs remaining? The true contest starts now. I will let you see what the commanding skill of an enslavement path Gu Master looks like. Han Bu Liu calmed his mind and was soon filled with fighting spirit. In his opinion, Little Beast King was so young, no matter how much of a genius he was, he could not advance in both strength path and enslavement path at the same time. A. A flaw. Fang Yuan had been observing his opponent from the start. Seeing Han Bu Liu's expression change irregularly, he immediately grasped this fleeting chance and decisively mobilized the few strongest dogs to form an offensive arrow formation. The next moment, this arrow suddenly broke the opponent's formation. Oh no! Han Bu Liu's heart jumped rapidly as he immediately controlled his dogs. However, how could Fang Yuan give him this chance? His remaining dogs formed into two exquisite arcs and outflanked the opponent's formation from left and right, seizing control of the situation in an instant. Chapter 348 Chrysanthemum Akita Dog This was an intense slaughter. Han Bu Liu tried to resist desperately, trying to overturn the situation. 
But Fang Nguyen saw through his actions every time, destroying his battle tactic. All his resistances were suppressed. Every effort he put in yielded no result. An hour later, there were only eight wild dogs left. They were all Fang Yuan's. Han Bu Liu's expression was pale, sweating profusely as he stood dazed on the ground. Plop! He suddenly kneeled on the ground, begging Fang Yuan. Lord Little Beast King, please spare my life. I will do anything for you to repay your kindness. You are a genius, a monstrous genius. I was scared and had no options but to battle you. Your mastery of the enslavement path has left me utterly speechless in admiration. Lord Little Beast King, from today onwards, you are my master. Oh, is that so? But how do you want me to see your sincerity? Unless you are willing to let me use the slavery goo. Fang Yuan laughed lightly, manipulating eight wild dogs to surrounding Han Bu Liu. Han Bu Liu flustered. Lo, Lord, inside this Gu immortal blessed land, Gu masters cannot use their Gu worms. Moreover, I do not have a slavery Gu. Then I have no choice. Fang Yuan waved his hand coldly as eight wild dogs pounced. Lord Fang Zheng, no! Han Bu Liu jolted up, screaming in fear, trying to escape. But it was already too late, the eight wild dogs surrounded him opening their mouths and chew on his body with their sharp canine teeth. Han Bu Liu screamed pitifully, shrugging his arms like a lunatic, rolling on the ground. But it was useless. Even if he had ice muscles, steel bones, or bronze skin, inside the blessed land, all these were weakened and rendered useless. Feng Zheng, I won't let you off even as a ghost, you! Under his curses and cries, Han Bu Liu's flesh and skin were torn apart, his eyes were dug out, and blood flowed out of him, showing his pale white bones. Fang Yuan watched silently, until he was completely dead and motionless. He waved his hand lightly, and the eight wild dogs stopped their attacks, retreating to the two sides and opening a path for Fang Yuan. Their bodies were full of blood traces, some were still chewing on Han Bu Liu's bones, some of their claws still had Han Bu Liu's hair, flesh, and so on. Han Bu Liu's corpse was completely destroyed, but his stomach area was consciously left intact by Fang Yuan's control. He placed his palm on Han Bu Liu's stomach, his mind entering the aperture. This was a standard rank 4 middle stage aperture. But Han Bu Liu was already dead, thus his aperture was slowly dying and shrinking. Due to the law of this blessed land, all his goo worms were suppressed and unable to move, quietly lying on the surface of the primeval sea. There were five goo, all from the enslavement path, with two rank four goo among them. Fang Yuan looked around and retrieved them all out, easily refining them into his own aperture. Throughout the process, he did not use the spring autumn cicada. The law of the blessed land did not restrict him at this moment, in fact, it helped him to refine these goo easily. King Quan seemed to encourage goo masters in killing each other, this showed the cruelty of a demonic inheritance. Fang Yuan killed Han Bu Liu, having seven wild dogs left. During Han Bu Liu's dying struggle, he killed the wild dog that was most heavily injured. At the brink of death, people were often able to unleash great power. Fang Yuan looked at these seven wild dogs, showing a bit of regret in his peaceful gaze. Only seven wild dogs are left, each with injuries, this will make it much harder to get through the future rounds. But compared to the rewards I got, the death of twelve wild dogs is insignificant. These wild dogs were commonly seen in forests of the outside world. Using 12 dogs to exchange for 2 rank 4 Gu, 3 rank 3 Gu, this was too great of a deal. The Three Kings' inheritance, not only is the inheritance a treasure, but the Gu masters that enter the blessed land are all moving treasures, killing them and taking their Gu worms, it would strengthen oneself. As the heavenly power descended again, Fang Yuan sneered as his killing intent rose. The misty fog appeared before him again. Fang Yuan looked left and right. Right in front of him was a black shadow, it means an enemy goo master. To the left, it was also a black shadow, but the side of this shadow was a protruding spiky shape. 
To the right, it was an orange shadow, similar to before, it represented the chrysanthemum Akita dog. I have seven wild dogs now, my battle strength is lacking. I cannot choose a goo master opponent. To the left, it is the hedge dog. Its body is full of spikes and the attack power is twice of an ordinary dog. The right leads to the chrysanthemum Akita dog. Fang Yuan's eyeballs darted around and he walked to the right. Although the hedge dog had higher attack power to go through this path, his losses would be severe. Fang Yuan's seven wild dogs were all injured, if their intestines were pierced by spikes, it meant death. Fang Yuan had experience, the hedge dog was dangerous, without any steel armor dogs or yin dogs, he should avoid them as much as possible. All these precious experiences were all intentionally hidden by Gu Masters when they found out during the first few months of the inheritance. Most people only learnt after falling into these pitfalls themselves and would love for others to experience the same. Fang Yuan took large steps forward, and the fog thinned. Near his leg, the seven wild dogs followed closely. They had battled with Fang Yuan along the way and were all injured. Especially the intense battle with Han Bu Liu, it expended their life force and battle strength. Dog enslavement Gu appeared in mid-air, landing in Fang Yuan's hands. When the fog disappeared, Fang Yuan received 20 dog enslavement Gu, all rank 1. Dog enslavement Gu was hard to retrieve, they were planted into the dog's soul. When the dog dies, their soul dissipates, and the dog enslavement Gu dies with it. Even if the Gu Master brought lots of rank 1 dog enslavement Gu into the inheritance, it would not help. With the Blessed Land's mysterious powers, it would take away all of the dog enslavement Gu in the Gu Master's hands and not return it, only leaving one for them. After a few tries, Gu Masters learnt their lesson. A total of nearly 60 Chrysanthemum Akita dogs appeared in front of Fang Yuan. These dogs had orange-yellow fur, like the color of an orange, their long ears drooped down, covering their ear holes. At the same time, there were chrysanthemum patterns on their fur. Their body size was around the same as an ordinary wild dog, or even slightly smaller. But Fang Yuan's expression changed. Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were naturally good at cooperation, the larger their numbers, the fiercer they fight. And Fang Yuan's location was terrible, in the middle of a plain, without no terrain advantage, he could easily be engulfed if he relied on just seven wild dogs. Fang Yuan's ending would not be any better than Han Bu Liu. I have to get to the top of that mound. Only in the time of one breath, Fang Yuan scanned the surroundings and ran towards the mound with no hesitation. He ran for five steps before the chrysanthemum Akita dogs found him. Woof woof woof. They barked as numerous chrysanthemum Akita dogs responded. At once, all the surrounding chrysanthemum Akita dogs gathered at one spot, forming into a river-like formation as they charged towards Fang Yuan. This situation, if it was the wild dogs, lightning symbol dog or hedge dog, it would not happen unless there was a dog king to command them. But the chrysanthemum Akita dogs had a strong sense of cooperation, even without a dog king, they could still coordinate and unleash a group attack. This was completely different from fighting individually. Fang Yuan narrowly rushed to the top of the mound before the chrysanthemum Akita dogs surrounded it. Fang Yuan retreated until there was a cliff behind him. The chrysanthemum Akita dogs stopped for a moment before charging again. Because the terrain was narrow, the dog group could only send out 15 dogs at once, Fang Yuan quickly commanded his seven wild dogs to defend against them. The two groups fought intensely as Fang Yuan used his outstanding manipulation to hold them back. At the same time, he waved his hand, throwing the five dog enslavement goo out at the perfect timing. Immediately, he had new fighting troops, five healthy chrysanthemum Akita dogs turning around and joining Fang Yuan, causing the situation to reverse. The original 15 against 7 became 10 against 12, Fang Yuan held the advantage. As companions turned into enemies, the dog group went into a panic. Fang Yuan used that opportunity to attack, killing six chrysanthemum Akita dogs as the other four retreated. 
He could have taken down all ten Chrysanthemum Akita dogs originally, but he chose to let the four Chrysanthemum Akita dogs escape. Fang Yuan's rich experience was not just in this aspect. He had twenty dog enslavement goo, but he did not use them all at once, but in batches. This terrain restricted the number of dogs that could enter battle. At the same time, the fewer dogs there were, the more Fang Yuan could use his exquisite manipulation skills. When there are more dogs, Fang Yuan would be more distracted across battles, and his control would weaken. The Chrysanthemum Akita dog group attacked again at Fang Yuan's defensive line. Fang Yuan had calculated to perfection, every time he used the dog enslavement goo, it was used at the most crucial area. He not only chose the healthiest Chrysanthemum Akita dog that he could find, but also ruined the formation of the enemy Chrysanthemum Akita dogs. Such benefits was not obvious, but in time, he gained much from it. After nearly ten attacks, the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were repelled every time. Fang Yuan had three dog enslavement goo left, and the remaining ten or so Chrysanthemum Akita dogs ran away in fear. These Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were all injured, Fang Yuan had let them off earlier to avoid their dying struggle. Right now, they were already afraid and chose to retreat. All this is due to the lack of a dog king to command them, otherwise they would not have escaped so easily. Fang Yuan breathed out some turbid air, choosing not to attack. After this battle, his seven wild dogs were left with three, but he gained sixteen chrysanthemum Akita dogs. Under Fang Yuan's skillful control, he distributed the injuries evenly on these dogs. Although they all had injuries, they preserved their battle strength causing Fang Yuan to recover greatly from his losses in the previous round. Chapter 349 Big Lightning Symbol Dog 13th Round 14th Round 17th Round 18th Round Fang Yuan got through all the stages, and the number of dogs he controlled increased. By the end of the 19th round, he had over 80 dogs. Among them, he had over 40 Chrysanthemum Akita dogs, more than 20 Lightning Symbol dogs, and 19 Hedge dogs. During this period, he killed another person. It was a Rank 3 Peak Stage Water Path Goo Master. But he eventually did not meet Bai Ningbing. 20th Round Fang Yuan had been counting in his heart. In the Three Kings' Inheritance, every 10 rounds, the difficulty would rise sharply. After the twentieth round, there would be hundred beast kings, and hundreds to nearly a thousand beasts would attack at once. Three lumps of light shadows appeared again in the fog, left, right, and center. The one in the middle was orange, the size of a wicker basket. The left was a eerie blue lightning static, shining, and was the size of a stone mill. At the right, it was like the moon in water, flower in fog, it was a green-white formless light shadow. Among the three, this was the smallest light shadow. Fang Yuan was clear, the size of the light shadow represented the size of the beast group. The larger it is, the more beasts there would be. The orange shadow in front represented the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs, around 200 of it. The left was the eerie blue shadow, showing 150 lightning symbol dogs. The right was a green-white shadow, showing the yin dog group, only around 100 of it. Fang Yuan eliminated the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs from his choice. Once the Chrysanthemum Akita dog group had a dog king, they would be even more united. The larger the numbers, the larger their battle strength. Over 200 Chrysanthemum Akita dogs was a calamity to the current Fang Yuan. Next, he ruled out the Yin dog group. Yin dogs were very unique, they did not have physical bodies, and were like a lump of yin energy in a dog shape, floating in the air. Ordinary attacks cannot kill them, they can even penetrate mountain rocks, phase through the ground, and hide under water, etc. Fang Yuan's dogs did not have the ability to kill them. Lightning symbol dogs only represented speed, they did not have the ability to emit lightning. After thinking for a while, Fang Yuan chose the left path. After the fog dispersed, the dog group surrounded him, moving alongside him slowly. A rank two dog enslavement goo fell from the sky, landing in his palm. When he got out of the fog, the lightning symbol dog group was loitering around the area. 
On the mound, there was a larger dog, lying on the grass and sleeping. It was larger than an ordinary lightning symbol dog by twice of their size. Its body was covered in deep blue fur, sharp and spiky, flowing with static. This was a hundred beast king big lightning symbol dog. A godsend opportunity. Fang Yuan was clear of the battle situation as his eyes shone in a brilliant light, instantly making his decision. He waved his hand and sent out all his troops. More than 80 dogs surrounded him in the middle, charging towards the big lightning symbol dog. The big lightning symbol dog's reaction was fast, its ears twitched, and it opened its eyes, standing up instantly. It raised his head and howled, assembling the nearby lightning symbol dog group. Getting the command from their king, the surrounding lightning symbol dogs responded and quickly gathered at the dog king's side from all directions. Although the lightning symbol dogs had great speed, Fang Yuan had the initiative. He gathered the force that he had, using them to collective assault the leader of his enemies. Some nearby lightning symbol dogs were faster than Fang Yuan and gathered at the dog king's side. Charge! Fang Yuan's eyes shone with resolution. At this time, hesitation was the biggest taboo. Once he had made up his mind, he would charge ahead fearlessly. The defending lightning symbol dogs were quickly overwhelmed. Fang Yuan's formation was tight, while the lightning symbol dogs were loosely positioned as most of them had not reached the dog king yet. Woof! As the hundred beast king big lightning symbol dog, seeing its subjects slaughtered, its inner ferocity was unleashed as it charged towards Fang Yuan while brandishing its claws. Fang Yuan willed, and twenty lightning symbol dogs split into two groups, flanking from the left and right. Nineteen hedge dogs lined into formation, charging fearlessly at the big lightning symbol dog. The remaining dogs, over forty chrysanthemum Akita dogs, surrounded Fang Yuan, slowly spreading out and moving ahead with the hedge dogs. The big lightning symbol dog had fallen into Fang Yuan's encirclement, trapped in the middle. Fang Yuan did not care about the expenditure of his mental energy, mobilizing his dog group and using the most perfect coordination. The big lightning symbol dog had greater speed than an ordinary lightning symbol dog, but because of Fang Yuan's encirclement, its greatest advantage was restricted. It barked loudly, gathering its subjects. Its subjects were rushing over in a frenzy, trying to defend it. Fang Yuan had to trap the big lightning symbol dog while blocking the attacks of the outside dog group. He faced great pressure and his head started hurting as sweat poured out of his forehead. The situation was dangerous. If he fought them head on, even if he won, it would be a tragic victory and his troops would dwindle. Thus, he thought of the capture the king approach. But if he could not control this hundred beast king, then Fang Yuan would become the filling inside a dumpling. Not only would he fail this round, he might even lose his life. In this Gu immortal blessed land, other than the inheritance's Gu worms, other Gu cannot be mobilized, thus it was easy for Gu masters to die. Fang Yuan's strength Kai Gu, all-out effort Gu could not be used. Of course, he had his final trump card Spring Autumn Cicada. But with the Spring Autumn Cicada's current condition, although he could activate it, there was a huge risk in doing so. He was likely to self-detonate and die for nothing. Thus, unless he was forced to the extreme and had no other choices left, Fang Yuan would not use it abruptly. Sweat gathered into drops on his forehead, falling onto the ground. Fang Yuan did not care about wiping it. He was clutching onto the rank 2 dog enslavement Gu and did not strike yet. He was finding the best opportunity. Using a rank 1 dog enslavement Gu and subduing ordinary dogs, he could do it half-heartedly. But to subdue a hundred beast king using a rank 2 dog enslavement Gu, there was a possibility of failure. That is because the hundred beast king has natural Gu worms on its body, these goo could ruin Fang Yuan's plans. He only had one chance. If the rank 2 dog enslavement goo was destroyed, he would be finished. Thus, he had to be careful. Woof! The big lightning symbol dog was getting anxious. It suddenly opened its mouth and shot out a lump of blue plasma. The dark blue plasma was like a sticky substance falling from above. 
As it landed on the grass, it did not dissipate, but remained shining, turning the grass and rocks charred black with a crackling sound. This is a rank two plasma goo. Fangyuan immediately recognized the culprit behind this plasma. Plasma goo did not have a strong attack power. Although the attack was very suddenly and engulfed Fang Yuan's numerous chrysanthemum Akita dogs, he quickly ordered the dogs in this field of plasma to retreat at the first second. The fur on the dogs were all charred, and they were moving sluggishly after being paralyzed by the current, but they still had some fighting power remaining. Woof, woof, woof. The big lightning symbol dog continued to shoot out plasma as it covered a large area of grass. Fang Yuan's brows were tightly knitted, his expression turning grim. The plasma goo's attack power was not high, but it would affect the terrain for a period of time. During this period, the area would be a forbidden zone for Fang Yuan's dogs. Fang Yuan's troops were already in the center, they did not have much room to move. The plasma added on to this disadvantage, being a huge restriction to Fang Yuan's plans in mobilizing troops or changing their formation. Without any choice left, Fang Yuan had to redeploy his troops. He had originally placed the lightning symbol dogs at the outer line of defense, but now they moved in to deal with the Hundred Beast King. He sent the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs out to defend against the over hundred lightning symbol dogs. Lightning symbol dogs moved freely in the area affected by the plasma in fact, because of the electric current stimulation, their movement speed was even raised. The scene had become extremely disadvantageous to Fang Yun. Lightning symbol dogs had some fear and hesitation towards the hundred beast king big lightning symbol dog naturally. This caused Fang Yuan's manipulation to be tougher and more energy intensive, and at the same time his control was weaker. At the outer ring of defense, the chrysanthemum Akita dog's speed was inferior to the lightning symbol dogs, they could only form into a tight ring of defense and defend against them passively. If they were the lightning symbol dogs, Fang Yuan could still use speed to restrict them through kiting. Endure, we have to endure this. I've already learnt of the Hundred Beast King's first goo next, we have to continue. Although he was in danger, Fang Yuan's heart was still calm and peaceful. Every time the plasma goo was activated, it needed a cooldown of five breaths. The plasma goo itself needed rest too. During this five breaths, Fang Yuan could activate the rank 2 dog enslavement goo without fear of the plasma goo's attack. But Fang Yuan did not know what other goo this hundred beast king had. To be safe, he had to continue testing. Time continued to pass, and the situation was getting tougher for Fang Yuan. He had lost 14 lightning symbol dogs, only having 9 left. The hedge dogs were not the same race as the lightning symbol dog, thus there was less casualties, but only 11 remained. Chrysanthemum Akita dogs suffered the greatest loss, from around 50, they fell to less than 20. But Fang Yuan did not manage to find out of the hundred beast king possessed a second goo. He decided to strike. I can't wait anymore. Most likely, this big lightning symbol dog only has one goo on it. He had to take a risk. If he continued waiting, his line of defense would be completely broken. Rank 2 Dog Enslavement Goo While the big lightning symbol dog shot out a plasma bolt, Fang Yuan quickly struck and unleashed his goo. Under Fang Yuan's supervision, the dog enslavement Gu successfully flew into the big lightning symbol dog and planted itself into its soul. A formless impact in terms of mental energy assaulted Fang Yuan through his dog enslavement Gu. Fang Yuan's head was already hurting, but after suffering this attack, he instantly felt dizzy. This was the soul of the Hundred Beast King, the resistance towards the enslavement. Subduing a hundred beast king was not easy. Fang Yuan's body wavered, gritting his teeth as he endured. A mental connection allowed Fang Yuan and the big lightning symbol dog to communicate. The dog was still resisting earlier, wanting to chop Fang Yuan into pieces, but the moment later, it started barking, wagging its tail at Fang Yuan affectionately. The surrounding lightning symbol dog group heard the dog king's call and stopped their attack. The intense battle had ended, and peace returned.
Fang Yuan stood on the spot, turning his head and looking at the battlefield. The risk paid off, although he had some losses, but looking around him, there were at least 120 lightning symbol dogs. Not to forget, he had a hundred beast king that possesses a plasma goo. Fang Yuan's battle strength surged. Chapter 350 Dog Guts Goo The fog ahead was thick. Fang Yuan was walking in the fog. Beside him, there was a large dog group. Eleven hedge dogs, a hundred and thirty-two lightning symbol dogs, seventeen chrysanthemum akita dogs. Other than that, there was a hundred beast king, big lightning symbol dog. Restricted by the heavenly power, the dog group followed Fang Yuan silently, quiet and obedient, not making a sound. In the world of the fog, all was silent. It was so silent that Fang Yuan hear his own breathing. Although he had endured twenty rounds and the dogs in his hand had reached the highest so far, Fang Yuan was not optimistic. In this Three Kings inheritance, every ten rounds, the difficulty would rise by many times. Although I have more than a hundred dogs now, to survive the next ten rounds and get to the thirtieth round on my first attempt, it will not be easy. Thirty rounds, that was Fang Yuan's goal for his first attempt in King Quan inheritance. In his previous life, the Three Kings' inheritance was only completely wrung dry after many years. Fang Yuan would have to spend quite a bit of time on Sancha Mountain, it was not realistic to attempt to get the inheritance in one go. Three Kings' inheritance, all three were tough. Even if Fang Yuan had a hundred beast king and over a hundred dogs, he could only stabilize his current position. In the future rounds, if he got careless in any of them, he might lose everything, losing the dogs that he had painstakingly subdued, and even his life. A demonic inheritance was this cruel. This King Quan inheritance, the deeper we go, the more advantageous it is for an enslavement path Gu Master. I walked on the enslavement path before in my previous life, but this time I am a strength path Gu Master. After experiencing that dangerous battle, Fang Yuan's head was still dizzy. Using his mental energy so intensely, spending all his energy to control the dog groups to battle, this was the backlash. But if it was an enslavement path Gu Master who has a strong soul, such symptoms would be very small. Gu Masters on the enslavement path enslaved beasts or worms, they have to manipulate large numbers of worms or beasts at the same time, it used up a lot of their mental energy. Thus, enslavement path goo masters often used a special set of goo worms to train and increase the quality of their own soul. In the King Quan's inheritance, the heavenly power did not restrict the soul enhancements of goo masters at all. Thus, enslavement path goo masters had a huge advantage in King Quan inheritance. But the enslavement path is very tough. Firstly, food was a huge burden. The large the size of your beast or worm group, the more food you needed. Secondly, to recruit strong worm or beasts, it is not easy. One can easily suffer a backlash, turning into an idiot. Thirdly, enslavement path goo masters overly rely on their beasts or worms. Their bodies are weak, and they are easily to deal with when alone. Fang Yuan analyzed in his mind. The different styles of Gu Masters all had their strengths and weaknesses, difficulties and advantages. The world was changing, the world was transforming. In the current Gu world, Kai Path was non-existent, Strength Path was declining, only left with a trace of its former glory. Enslavement Path was extremely ordinary and was hard to rise up. Occasionally, some enslavement path experts rise up, but vanish like a shooting star, only brilliant for a moment. Enslavement path goo masters have a huge requirement for resources. It is tiring on the mind and body, even a middle-sized clan cannot afford to feed an enslavement path goo master. At most, large or super clans would choose to nurture a few enslavement path goo masters for war purposes. Within the demonic path, it is even harder for enslavement path Gu masters to survive, barely any even exists. That is why I did not choose this path. Fang Yuan calmed his spirit, focusing his mind. After a while, he felt his head clearing up as the dizziness faded. He opened his eyes, looking around. To his left, right, and front, there was a light shadow each. 
Earlier, the light shadows were a blur, but after 20 rounds, they became extremely clear. The left shadow was a group of chrysanthemum Akita dogs, around 200 of them. Some sprawled on the ground and rested, some were playing, while the rest were drinking milk from their mother. Fang Yuan concentrated his gaze, looking intensely. The beast kings of the chrysanthemum Akita dogs were different from others, the stronger they were, the smaller their bodies. Especially in a chaotic battlefield, the beast king mixes in with the dog groups and become hidden. It was a good way to protect itself. Where can the hundred beast king be? Fang Yuan looked around, and suddenly the light shadow changed, showing a goo. This goo was fist-sized, shaped like a pebble, dark brown in color. Its surface was smooth, like it had a layer of oil. Dog guts goo. Fang Yuan recognized this goo at the first second. Appearing after the beast group, that means that if I choose this group of chrysanthemum Akita dogs and attain victory, I will get a dog guts goo. A while later, this light shadow vanished. Fang Yuan did not make his decision, but looked at the middle one. The light shadow in front of him was showing a black-ish dog group. These dogs were barking at each other, charging and crashing together. It showed the ferocity and violent nature of this type of dog. This was the steel armor dog. There was a leather armor on this type of dog. The leather armor was dark and heavy like steel. It had strong defenses. In the process of growing up, the dogs would knock into one another to reduce the intense itchiness of their bodies growing bigger. The hundred beast king of the steel armor dog had the same size as the big lightning symbol dog. It was very noticeable among the dog groups. Fang Yuan found it almost immediately. Immediately after, the light shadow flashed, and a goo appeared. This goo, Fang Yuan was familiar with it, he had used it earlier. Rank 2 Dog Enslavement Goo If I choose the Steel Armor Dog group and win, I get a Dog Enslavement Goo. Fang Yuan muttered, turning his gaze to the right. In the light shadow on the right, there was no dogs at all. Instead, it showed a mountainous scene, with gray-white mountain rocks and cliffs, green trees swaying with the wind. After a while, this image vanished, not showing a goo like before. This is a chance to leave the King Quan inheritance. Fang Yuan knew in his heart. King Quan inheritance was created inside the blessed land, Gu masters who enter were restricted by the heavenly power, unable to enter or leave at will. But the Three Kings' inheritance was not a place without exits, there was a hope of survival in it. At every set interval, there would be a chance to retreat from the inheritance. Just like this time, if Fang Yuan chose the right side, when he leaves the fog, he would be transported out. He would appear at the mountainous area as shown in the light shadow, and this mountain waste was not far away, it was somewhere on Sancha Mountain. But Fang Yuan did not choose the right side. I have the resources on me to continue forward. It is too much of a pity if I leave now. Of course, there might not be a chance for me to leave later. This was also a formless test. Many Gu masters, although they had strength in order to stay safe, they decided to give up and leave the inheritance, wasting such a good opportunity. Some Gu masters had no talent, but went forward recklessly, missing the opportunity to retreat, they die in regret. Fang Yuan had never lacked courage, he gave up this opportunity resolutely. To him, there was only two options. To the left, it is the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs. This dog is most united, and the location of the dog king is unknown. If I win, I get a dog guts goo. Dog guts goo is a rank 2 supplementary goo of the enslavement path. It is used on dogs once activated, it allows the courage and morale of my dogs in a certain range to rise, sweeping away their fear and drawing out their complete battle strength. Fang Yuan thought about his previous match. He was forced to use the lightning symbol dogs to attack the big lightning symbol dog. In the end, the lightning symbol dogs were fearful and battled in trepidation, having much less battle strength than normal. Fang Yuan had to waste his mental energy to force them to fight, causing his mind to feel exhausted. Beast kings suppressed and generated fear in ordinary wild beasts. 
but if Fang Yuan had used the dog guts goo earlier, using it on the lightning symbol dogs. These lightning symbol dogs would feel extremely courageous, no longer fearful, and could execute brave attacks towards the big lightning symbol dog. Thus, the dog guts goo, although not an attacking goo, it was the best supplementary goo. It targeted dogs, causing their courage to double or triple, raising their morale sky high. Dog guts goo is only rank 2. It can allow ordinary dogs to suppress their fear towards hundred beast kings. Above that would be the rank 3 dog guts above Mountain Goo, able to resist the fear towards a thousand beast king. At rank 4 it would be dog guts above Sea Goo, able to resist the aura of a myriad beast king. If it can rise to rank 5, it would be the infamous dog guts above Heaven Goo. It can cause dogs to go into a frenzy, going crazy and attacking like a tsunami, even having the courage to overturn the Emperor of Dogs. Fang Yuan knew clearly, and even knew that in King Quan inheritance, there were rank 1 to 5 Gu of the Dog Gut series. In his previous life, many people had obtained the rank 3 and 4 Dog Guts Gu, and there was even a lucky person who obtained the one and only rank 5 Dog Guts above Heaven Gu. If I want to conquer the King Quan inheritance, the Dog Guts Gu is necessary. Fang Yuan had to admit he had always had a desire towards Dog Guts Gu. But his steps did not move to the left, but instead moved forward. He chose the Steel Armor Dog Group. Although he wanted the Dog Guts Goo badly, he was not overwhelmed by greed. The Chrysanthemum Akita Dogs were extremely united. They were extremely strong in group battles. It would be a tough battle. At the same time, the Dog King hid itself very well. Fang Yuan could not find it. It would be a huge threat. But the Steel Armor Dogs were different. Their dog king was very apparent, and in Fang Yuan's hands, he had a special tool that was extremely effective against steel armor dogs. Fang Yuan walked out of the fog, and the steel armor dog group was vigilant, immediately having a reaction. As the hundred beast king, big steel armor dog howled, causing the dogs to run and gather by its side. During the whole process, Fang Yuan observed silently. He did not attack like before because last time he had a rank 2 dog enslavement goo, but now he did not have it anymore. He needed to exterminate this group of dogs to pass this round and get a dog enslavement goo as a reward.